Over 30 years ago, Andrew Tannenbaum set about designing a new teachable operating system, resulting in the now legendary Minix 1.0. I decided to write my own version of Unix v7 so students could learn all about it and study the operating system code. The IBM PC had just come out, and so I thought I'd write it for the PC because that was a machine that even students could afford. Originally created as a teaching tool, he made the Minix 1.0 source code widely available in conjunction with his 1987 textbook, Operating Systems, Design and Implementation. For the first time ever, anyone could go into a bookstore and have access to learning Unix-like operating systems. Minix opened the door for the initial development of Linux, used widely today in operating systems large and small. One of the early adopters of Minix was Linus Torvalds, who studied it very carefully and then developed Linux using Minix as a base system. If he hadn't had that, he probably wouldn't have developed Linux, and then there wouldn't have been an Android, because Android is based upon Linux. Minix continues to be developed, making significant contributions to the lively debate of monolithic versus microkernel structures. Why microkernels? My interest is in simple, reliable software. When you divide software into pieces, you got smaller chunks, and it's easier to understand what they do, so it's less likely there'll be bugs in it. The focus for the future is building a simple, reliable, fault-tolerant, self-healing system that could be used in embedded systems that have to be online 24-7, and other things, very high reliability is important. Andrew Tannenbaum's work is responsible for instructing generations of computer science students all over the world and his operating system innovations have had a profound impact on the field of computer science.